Hello, um, very quick shout out to um, Bexibu88. Um, I hope you find this video useful and um, anyone else that finds it. Uh, I'm going to do it in real time. There's not going to be any shortcuts. Um, so you can follow it straight through. Um, you'll need a memory stick. Mine's already plugged in. It needs to be at least 8 gig and any data on it will be erased. So make sure the data that you've got on your stick is either unimportant or it's backed up somewhere else before you do this. So let's get started first thing you do is go to Google and type in media creation uh, you can have the word tool but normally it'll find it for you there so click on media creation tool and it'll search as you can see I've been to this um, website quite a few times top hit download Windows 10 disk image ISO file click on that and, uh, and the bit we're interested in here where it says create Windows 10 installation media download the tool now so click that and it will download which it's doing and it's quite quick to download so uh, we now need to um, show in folder and there it is uh, this is the current version 2004 I'm going to close the web browser so we've just got that and if we now go to uh, run that it'll say do you want to um, allow this app to make changes and the answer is yes so I'll close Windows Explorer and it's saying getting a few things ready um, hmm. so I'm doing this in real time so I won't edit it so um, you can follow it exactly take a few seconds to sort itself out and first thing you get is a license term which you have to accept so um, click accept And away it goes again. The length of time it takes will vary depending on what your system is. Uh, what do you want to do is the thing it asks you next. Upgrade this PC now. Uh, create installation media. Yes, please. So click create installation media and then click next. Then it will do select language, architecture and edition. Um, you can obviously change the language you want, uh, uh, change the edition if you wish, change the architecture if you wish, but um, if you're making this on um, another laptop, um, it won't matter. You can normally go with the default. You want the 64-bit, uh, the language will automatically be chosen depending on what you're currently using, and of course you want Windows 10. So um, just click Next. Then it'll say what you want to do, which media to use. Um, you can make an ISO file if you want to burn that to an actual DVD, um, but that's don't. Uh, you want a USB flash drive, it needs to be at least 8 gig like I mentioned at the start. Just click next. And then it will say which one do you want to use? Now as you can see I've already plugged mine in. And the name of it is quite interesting because this is the name it will give the USB drive anyway once it's finished. And this one is the one I use for installing Windows, all the machines that I um, need to install Windows on. So I'm just going to click that um, and then I'm going to click next. And then I'll get a few more things ready. So if you um, thought, I'll make the disk, I'll make the bootable disk, and then you copy the setup file onto it, not going to work. If you copy the ISO file onto it as a file, not going to work. Um, you have to burn the ISO um, because the ISO contains the file structure, which includes the bootable elements of the um, setup disk. Um, but don't bother with that. Um, because every time a new version gets released you can just reuse the same USB stick and um, DVD drives are sort of a worm devices write once read many um, I used to make a, a Windows setup disk for every version that came out but then they just got stupid and then um, Microsoft kind of realized that and now you can use USBs to do it so you don't need to um, do anything with the USB other than plug it in <laughs> and tell the um, media creation tool to use it and that's it that's all you do 
so it's at uh, 19 percent now the speed of it will depend on your system um, but it shouldn't take very long and of course you can you know go and do something else Um, it's actually a good um, opportunity to talk about whether it'll boot or not. Um, when you plug the USB stick in and turn the computer on, there's a very good chance that it will detect the USB drive and boot from it without having to do anything at all. If it doesn't, then you might have to um, kind of encourage it. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to press um, one of the function keys. It can be F11, F10 or F9, depending on um, what pops up. You get like a um, choose boot device uh, menu option popping up very quickly on boot sometimes. But usually it's um, one of the F keys, one of the higher end F keys. Depends on the manufacturer. If you're not sure, then you can obviously just Google you make a laptop and say one time boot choice or select boot device or boot menu and it will tell you which key to press um, as I say normally F9 or F10 or sometimes F11 that does the trick um, but only you only need to worry about that if um, you know you've made the bootable USB stick correctly um, which you will have if you follow this and if you then plug it in and turn the computer on and it doesn't boot to setup then you know it hasn't um, you're gonna have to encourage it don't be alarmed um, if you power it up and it doesn't appear to do anything because it can take uh, a minute or so for it to acknowledge that the USB is bootable and then boot from it and if your laptop doesn't have a USB um, 3 uh, socket, which some of them don't, and even if it does have a USB 3 socket, it can take um, a minute or so, generally, to um, start the initial boot. And you can see that on the other video. It, um, the USB stick gets plugged in. Uh, there's a couple of videos. Uh, the main one, obviously, is the installing it on the FreeDOS. Um, and you can see there is a bit of a delay while it works out what's going on. Now, if you expect that delay, and it happens, it doesn't matter, does it? But if you're not expecting it, you might think something's wrong and shut the machine down prematurely. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. So we're about 70% now. I'm not going to edit this. I'm not going to shorten it. I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to keep it the um, in real time. Notice it's saying downloading Windows 10. Uh, that's because when you download the tool, it's quite small and it goes and gets the, um, the main Windows installation files. Um, so this process may well depend on your internet connection speed. So if you've got quite a slow internet connection speed, it can take rather a long time. Um, in which case, then once you've made the disk once, you're free to just leave that USB stick alone and not bother updating it. Um, the one I'm making now will install um, the 2004 update version, um, which I think is May 2020. I think they rolled it out in May 2020. Some machines won't have it, 
um, because of some issues that it hasn't rolled out to them yet but a lot of machines will do it and if you do a fresh install using this one it will install the 2004 version straight away um, as they release new versions the tool will go and grab different versions but obviously you are free to um, update your installation USB as often as you like so it's downloaded the um, installation files and now it's actually um, turning the USB stick into a bootable setup drive and that's it done I'll click finish on that if I um, have a look at uh, disk management what we do is we'll have a look at the drive I can see it is FAT32 um, but it is an active primary partition so it is um, bootable and that is it so when you take the drive out and plug that into your laptop and power it up it should boot from it if it doesn't you have to press um, one of the function keys and then choose it and then Windows setup will run and that's it sorted um, any questions or comments um, stick them in the comments and um, if this was helpful um, liking and subscribing is appreciated and um, thanks for watching